Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to come and spend a few minutes with you and tell you about good news. Good news, the gospel is how the Greeks, the Greek language in the New Testament put it. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, good news. The good news is this, that God loves you. In fact, it goes so far as to say in, in John, uh, 1 John, that it's not so much that you love God. In fact, it has nothing to do with that. It's that God first loved you. In fact, John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's good news. Good news is that God loves you. Good news is that God loves you. The Bible goes on to tell us that if a man uh, should not say in Romans, I believe it was, Paul was repeating something out of uh, Deuteronomy that was said earlier by, in Moses' uh, books. And Paul renews it and says, Now who shall go into the heavens and bring Christ or the anointed one down from above? Or... Who shall go and bring Christ up from below? No, it says the word of faith that we preach says this. The word is near you. It's not up there. He's not down there. The word is near you. It's in your heart and in your mouth. That if we believe with our hearts that Jesus is the Lord and confess with our mouth, we will be saved. For with the mouth one confesses to salvation, and with the heart one believes unto righteousness righteousness. That's where I wanted to go today. Because we are in the righteous one, we are now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are wrapped up in Christ Jesus. In fact, the scripture goes, as I say, the double chalupa is the Christ has got you in his hands, and then God has got Christ wrapped up in his hand. Now, they're not going to let go. You are got the double chalupa of security in your life because God loves you. He didn't save you because you needed it. He saved you because you loved you. He loves you. And yeah, you needed it, but he loves you. That's why he saved you. That's why he heals you. That's why he'll prosper you. In fact, 3 John 2, good news, the third book of John, the second verse of that one chapter, says, uh, brethren, I, I, I pray above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Well, I got news for you. If you have put your faith in Christ Jesus, if you've confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that he is the son of God, that God sent him for the sole purpose of taking all of the sin and all of the debt and all of the lack and all of the sickness and disease and all of the evil things that this world has to offer and put them on the Christ, put them on Jesus, on his way to the cross and on that cross and then took him to Sheol Hades to go down there and take the keys of death, hell, and the grave and then come up out of that grave. All of the punishment and wrath of God was on Jesus Christ. That was your punishment and your wrath. That was appointed for you. But now we're no longer appointed to wrath if we are in Christ. In fact, the scriptures go to head, go, basically will tell us you're beloved. Your daddy, Abba, father, your father loves you. He loves you. This isn't performance-based. Your righteousness has nothing to do with you. Your righteousness has everything to do with Christ. If you are in him, you're righteous. If your faith is in him, you're righteous. And righteous stuff will flow from that. The Holy Ghost job will clean you up and bring righteousness out of you. But your righteousness is only one thing. Is your faith in the righteous one, the Christ? Now let's go one step further. If you have never put your faith in Christ, if you're not one of those, I got news for you. God loves you. God doesn't love you when you get born again. God loved you before when we were dead in our trespasses and sin, yet he still sent Christ to die for us. You may be one of those today that have happened on this video and going, what a weird guy. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is, God loves you. God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus. Not to condemn the world, but, through him, but that through him, the world might 
be saved. Saved from what? What do you need saving from? Addictions? Debt? Lack? Hopelessness? Fear? Disease? Sickness? We could go on and on, but your biggest need is you've got to know somebody really loves you. Somebody knows you completely, totally, absolutely every atom of you, your thoughts, the intents of your heart, and yet he still loves you. He still loves you. No man is righteous on his own. Only are we righteous when we're in Christ. When God looks at us, he is looking through Christ to us because we are in Christ. And Christ said he was not afraid or not ashamed to call us brethren. In a sense, he is our elder brother. He was not ashamed to call us brethren, being the firstborn from the dead, which implies there will be many more born, but he's the firstborn, the chosen one. He is the prototype. He is the Christ, the man Christ Jesus. One of our elder brothers is sitting at the right hand of the throne right now. Now here's the end of the story. That word that we were to preach, the good news, to preach the word, that word that we want to, to give, the good news, the word of God to people, it is Jesus. You go read John chapter 1, down at verse 14, you're going to see that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Speaking of Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ. The word of God put on flesh and became a man because God loves Jesus humanity. He loves us. He wants his abode to be here with us. He wants us to be his family. So today, if you're in Christ, rejoice. You're loved. You're beloved of God. I don't care what you've done wrong. Stop it. Don't let anybody get you into that performance-based stupidity. If you're doing wrong, stop it. Don't be an idiot. Let the love of God shine through you, but it's got to be Christ in you. That's the only righteousness that you possess. People, are say, people will give you this question and don't get caught by it. They'll say, well, can I be this and still be a Christian? And can I do this and still be a Christian? I'm going, no, there's only one thing you can do to be a Christian. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth. Put your faith in him. That makes you a Christian. That makes you a Christian. So if you want to know if you can be this and be, still be a Christian, or if you can do that and still be a Christian, or God, you know, God accepts me you know, the way I am. No, he doesn't. He accepts you because of Christ. He's looking at Christ. He's looking at the righteousness of Christ and not you. He accepts you because of Christ and your faith in him. So don't try to excuse your shortcomings and don't try to excuse your whatever it is. You take that up with God between you and the Holy Ghost. I'm just here for the good news today. If you're in Christ, he's looking at you through Christ-colored goggles. God the Father, your daddy now, is looking at you through Christ-colored goggles, and all he sees is righteousness. Righteousness, righteousness. It is the grace of God that destroys the dominion of sin. Anyway, I appreciate you listening today. And if you have never received Christ into your life, today's the day. Just open your mouth and say, Jesus, come into my heart today. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you were bruised and beaten and battered and that you died for me and went to that cross and were nailed to that cross for me, that you died and took my sin and shame and suffering and punishment and disease and sickness and poverty. You took it to hell and left it there. And then you were brought out of that grave by God Almighty as an acceptance in front of the whole world to give you an eternal priesthood. Jesus, the Christ, the eternal priest, ever, ever interceding for us at the right hand of the Father. And say, thank you, Father. Today I am born into the family of God and I am dearly beloved because I now put my faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. And as we say here in the South, y'all have a good day. <laughs>